Hey guys, so we are in a town called Marine on St. Croix and um, I've never been here. <laughs> Billy's like, hey, you want to go downtown? And so we pull in here to their main street downtown or whatever. Let me show you what it looks like. Yeah. This is their downtown. It's literally like four buildings. <laughs> they have like a bank, a library, a general store, some other little things, a cold press. I don't know what that is. And like a little gazebo. It's like something out of the 1800s. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but cute. So here we are. By this general store. I want to film in there, but I don't know if that's legit. So I'm going to kind of be sneaky. <laughs> These must be the original floors, man. Yeah, they're super old. Just they have a deli. Yeah, the floor must be original. It's old and warped. Like sneaky filming. So here's some upper falls, um, and I think it leads out to the river, the St. Croix. So we're going to follow that and see where it takes us. Anyone know what a marine fire hand pumper might be? I don't their fire station and then this is their one gas pump they have just one and uh, I guess it's open 24 hours and you just pay at the station pay at the pump um, there's no attendant there or anything it's just <laughs> one gas pump so interesting so I guess this is a host historical mill site from 1839 so the old mill used to be right off the river we are at the edge of the river, and the only story I know about this place is there's three unidentified infants that were found right here, because we're on Marine Landing. They were found somewhere in this vicinity, and they were found years apart, but they determined that the DNA was the same, so it was from the same mother two girls and a boy and they were of Native American descent and they were dumped like dumped in the river um, three of them years apart and they determined that they were actually siblings it was really sad in the early 2000s so I don't know they never found out who these infant babies were but they were like newborn babies that were dumped somewhere here I guess this was the very first 
settled town in Minnesota and the whole state. So it was the first um, place where they colonized the natives that were here. So obviously there's like negative residual energy connected with this place too. So lots of genocide. I hear a woodpecker somewhere. It's right there. Where is it's it? Flying? Yep. <laughs> there's a lot of nature here. Like when I was working on the house, we saw like woodpeckers and crows and all sorts of birds. This place is wildlife haven out here. Squirrels, mice, moles. I haven't been here yet, but Billy tells me I'm gonna have to get my camera ready because we are approaching some weird neighborhood where they have like compound, it's like a compound. Like all the houses are uniform in size, shape, and color, and just close together and like no windows and really weird. I watched a video that she put up before and I was tripping out, so. It's at the end of this road. We are coming up on it. That was and this is still Marine St. Croix, right? Yep. Okay. We're still Marine and St. Croix. Well, that's St. Park, State Park property right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm already getting a weird feeling from this place already. So, this is called Old Guslander Trail. <laughs> Okay. Interesting. So it says no outlet. Is this the right way? Yep. Okay. So we just have some fields on the side. <laughs> You're just going to be like, what the hell when you get in there? <laughs> it's just weird. Just from your video, I got creeped out. So a bunch of wooded area, it's, right? See how Both far sides. out from the town it actually is? Yeah, so it's kind of like in a remote wooded area with some open fields here and there. Weird, weird looking fencing. Look at that. So this whole street is lined with this weird there like we wire. <gasps> okay. Mm -hmm. Lower the camera because there's somebody coming. Okay, what is this like a watchtower? Street parking restricted to designated it's areas. It's called Jackson Meadow. What is that thing right there? Oh, you guys, this is really creepy. You guys see my video below. Oh my lord. So look at this. All these houses. Let's see what I talked about with the grass? Okay. What is the deal? What is this? It's real. So every single house is white. Every single house has like pointy, really high like, rooftops. Yeah, like the same like. And there's like it seems like architectural it's, structure. Like, like, what the? That's I not don't see one any house. people around at all. Yeah, notice how nobody's outside. Nobody's outside. I don't see a single soul. I seen a couple of people in cars the last time I was here, and they just stood and stared at us. This is really weird. Like for miles, all that. you can see are that's these communal living. Yeah, dude, this looks like that's a all cult for sure. It's communal living. It's a big cult, and this is their spot. I mean, I don't see anything even out in the yard. Like, it's just look like at that one right there. It looks like nobody even lives there. Right, they're all empty. Like that one doesn't look lived in either. Right there. That one big. A couple of them are for sale. This is weird, you guys. That one straight up looks like from Beetlejuice. See how the porch comes out? <laughs> I'm trying to get this as I drive, so I apologize if it's shaky, but the, like, what is this? Like, what is the purpose? What is the meaning? I'm 
thoroughly confused right now. <laughs> like they're kind of cool looking houses. It's, it's just but weird. It's giving me a weird like, vibe, dude. Why would you want your house to look abandoned? And they all look empty. <laughs> like, like there's chairs outside some of them, but there's somebody empty in that one inside. There's like, somebody in that one in the kitchen. Look at this. Shadow. Like for miles, it's just like these weird white structures. Tell me if that's not weird. Look at this. Look at this. It's just weird, you guys. Don't even know what to say. Look at it. Look, look at that. That is odd. It's like two houses connected with like a sky, like a, like a walkway. Civilization. This is the one that I seen people at last time. She was getting mail. Like, I want to ask what this is. Like, what what is this? They're going to tell you it's an architectural uh, project. I don't buy that. Because that's what they say online. But I don't buy that at run all. into a few of the people that live up here. And he said they act very, very strange. They don't like to socialize. And, and they'll just say they're from up the hill. That's all they'll say. Up the hill. This is up the hill. Yep, okay. This is up the hill. Look at that. What is what is that? Little teeny thing right there. Like what is that? Just like a structure. What it's just a structure. It? Like is it an outbuilding? It's is it a house? Weird. Is it a garage? I'm gonna drive the other streets too. Watch. I don't even care. I mean, they're not like it's not like a gated community where no. you can't come in. No. They don't have the no trespassing signs like that. Actually, no walking trails through here. But they don't like people to get out and film. This is so. That's what I've cold. heard from a lot of the you know, research you this online. Oops, sorry guys, I'm trying to drive at the same time, so I apologize. But I've I researched a bunch of this online and they they Did we not... go this way yet? No. Okay, let's go this way. <coughs> they're very we came from that road and went that way. I mean oh. this one seems to be the most populated area right in here. Because like they actually like maintain their grasses and stuff. So I'm wondering if these aren't the ones that are lived in. get it I don't either and they all have the, these windows that you can see through but there's like no furniture inside it's just like well I guess that one has furniture like they have some furnitures and stuff but it's just like it almost makes me wonder if they're like Mennonites or like Amish people I was thinking you know that <laughs> like I've read I've seen a show a long time ago about Scientology and we do have a Scientology building in the state of Minnesota, yeah, we in do. St. Paul. They used to be the old live in South communal Indian. living. Really? And they don't associate with people that are not Scientologists, unless it's business. I'm wondering if this isn't a Scientologist compound. It's something. This is some like weird that thing. that is totally empty. That... <sighs> oh, there's a table in there, though. That is... This like, is so weird. seems to be the only furniture they have is, like, a kitchen table. It's very simplistic. There's no like, it's just plain white structures with nothing on the outside, no decorations, no like, nothing to make it look like homey. It's just all very like cold and like, look at, you can stuck. see through there's it and there's like nothing weird. There's a Buddha statue in that one. I see it. I don't That's know. A screen man. House? This... What? What do you mean a screen? Oh. What? Like a butterfly. It was like cage a normal, or like a hangout screen, like you know. Look at even their out. like their street signs are even white yeah, too. Like everything, everything is white. everything's white. Everything is white. That is just so bizarre. Yeah, because normally our street signs are green. Yeah, green or blue. And these are all everything's white in here. I don't know about this area. Like, I don't know, a lot man. Of plots. This is sale, some so. kind of weird religious thing. I, I can feel it. It's some weird, yeah, it's creepy, culty. Like I was saying, in between the houses, there's like unkept grass. But it's like, in order to live here, the requirement is you can't have anything that like sets you apart from anyone else. Like you have to just have everything the same. Probably. You know, like you can't have any decorations in your port journey. Like, have, uh, and do you notice something it. else too? There's no curtains in the windows. Yeah, nobody There's has no window no hangings, window no window treatments, no blinds. It's just open windows. Yep, that that is very true. I never noticed that last time. That's creepy. Like you're not allowed to have curtains. Like so anyone at any point in time driving by, they can just look through your house and see you. Like Oh wait, there's curtains. Wait. Are those curtains or are they Those look 
It looks like that one's under construction. It looks like it's like something covering like the curtains windows. To me. Like, oh, that's curtains. You think it's curtains? Yeah, those are curtains. So one the house only one out of all of them has curtains. Yep. And I don't. That one looks like it's like under construction. Look at it, like the whole thing is like windows, like all the way around. So weird. That's the Beetlejuice house. I don't oh, know, guys. you guys. That is so Beetlejuice right there. Like this is some crazy, crazy stuff. Yeah, we went that way before. So go this way. Yeah. And we went around that way. There's no houses on this lot, but still, it's just. So this is called Jackson Meadows. This development. We're gonna have to look this up. If anybody knows what this is, please comment below. Right. We... If you've seen anything like this, just let us know. I mean, holy cow! I'd like to know what this is. <laughs> Yeah, this is some things crazy. you find in your own state. But if you notice, none of these other houses have any window treatments, like yeah. no blinds, no curtains. Like, much as they're gonna get fined or something back there, like you got curtains. Right. Five hundred dollar fine. People have to see what you're doing. That's just something's up with this. I don't know. And at my house, I'm all about the black curtains. Yeah, I mean, because <laughs> I live in the basement, and you can just look right into my window. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is... Yeah. This part two of Jackson. They don't house. even look like normal houses. They're just weird. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's another weird one. Our fam out. Peace. I already did this one, so I'm like, I'm going to keep this one kind of short for me. <laughs> yeah, look at this. They have like a watchtower at like the entrance of yeah, the neighborhood. That is weird. Like, like somebody's like watching you come in or something. Look at this. I'm pretty sure there is. Like it's two story, obviously. There's windows. I don't know. It's probably some dude sitting up there right now. Yeah, it probably is. Out the Hi, how's it going? It's like hey, it doesn't serve any other purpose. Oh, is that more cameras? Uh -huh. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! No way. Look oh, at this. I didn't even notice that. There's more cameras right there. I didn't even notice the cameras. Do you see that? Oh, hey guys. My God. How's it going? We were so filming your neighborhood. That is crazy. I don't even know what to say.